Well, as COVID cases continue to climb, doctors are also seeing more patients struggling with a wide range of symptoms several months after contracting the virus. From a racing heart rate to extreme fatigue, cognitive issues. I know I dealt with a dull headache for a, a while afterwards. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge here with a new effort to find the cause of these post COVID symptoms. Hey, Frank. Hey, Karen and Jason. Yeah, you know, it's been a mystery why some people recover completely from COVID. And of course, others go on to develop serious debilitating symptoms. Researchers from the University of Michigan actually find more than 40% of COVID survivors were suffering persistent symptoms more than a month after their initial infection. And for some, those symptoms are life changing. Joanna Zeiger is an Olympic triathlete and Ironman champion. I don't have your ball. But these days, Joanna has trouble just taking her dog for a walk or climbing a flight of stairs. She also struggles with brain fog and memory issues, symptoms that never went away after contracting COVID five months ago. It's been a very difficult transition, both, you know, work-wise and exercise-wise and for my mental health. Researchers at National Jewish Health are trying to find the common link between those who experience long-term effects. We see young and old, we see folks who had um, mild acute COVID or severe acute COVID. Heart and lung tests were usually normal in these patients, so researchers looked deeper to the cellular level. You were breathing what we would essentially like too much, like more than your body needs, which is a pattern that we've seen in certain people with COVID. Researchers determined that in certain people, their mitochondria, the parts of cells that are responsible for generating energy, were not functioning properly. Essentially, the virus had hindered cells from generating energy. It's a discovery they hope will ultimately lead to help for people like Joanna. There are a lot of people out there struggling with long COVID symptoms, and a lot of them are very serious and life-altering. Now, this study found that dysfunction in muscle tissue, but researchers believe the same cell process could be linked to post-COVID symptoms in the neurologic and pulmonary symptoms systems as well. Now, obviously, there is much more work to do to better understand how to treat these post-COVID symptoms effectively. Yeah, it really is a scary development. And uh, Frank, we know that getting vaccinated helps with the symptoms of COVID, but how do they help with long COVID symptoms? Well, you know, it does so by lowering your odds of becoming infected with COVID in the first place. But for, you know, for those people who do suffer a breakthrough infection, the research is actually mixed on how protective being vaccinated is. Safe to say, though, there is still a lot to learn and a good reason to take multiple precautions to reduce your risk of getting COVID to begin with. Mm -hmm. All right, Doc, thanks for the advice.